all of you have done very well in the unit tests okay let's start with our semester portion in general knowledge for class 6 topic is renewable energy now here is one point i have written sustainable energy resources now let us understand the meaning of the word sustainable sustainable means what when the energy energy we are talking about the energy energy means not our body energy like electricity this is what we are going to discuss today when the energy produced is more in amount and comparatively less usage it is used less and the production is more it is called as sustainable energy resources understood this means this energy is produced in large amount like for example solar energy now you know that we are in the temperate zone eight months we have ample of solar energy heat and that energy can be produced through some process in the electrical energy so the but how many of us are using this solar energy very less hardly some of us are using solar energy that is why sustainable energy is defined as the energy produced is more in amount and comparatively less usage sun is giving us the energy continuously but how much we are utilizing no we are utilizing in very small amount sustainable energy includes all renewable energy sources such as hydroelectricity hydroelectricity means or through the dams or falling water the electricity is produced then biomass biomass means wastage of the plant is called as biomass and through that we can make the electricity we can produce the electricity then geothermal this uh, i i'll just read these words now after in the next slides will be going in detail with this geothermal wind wave tidal and solar energies only wind wave tidal and solar energies are maximum used okay rest all energies are very less used now here is a symbolic picture symbolic image i have inserted in this slide you can see these plants they are getting the here sun is shown then water is shown okay and here is a windmill this leaf three leaf like structures right this is called as windmill and one plug is attached here means what these all can produce the electricity and never ending it is never ending it is continuous source of energy okay let's see in the next now which are the popular renewable energy resources now in science also you will be learning this first is solar energy solar means the energy which we get from the sun second wind energy that we get from the wind all of you know what is the wind hydro energy hydro means water the energy which we get from the water is called as hydro energy then tidal tidal means what this might be new for you tidal means the waves of the sea are called as tides and from that the energy is produced and this is called as a tidal energy now you can see whatever is moving from that we can produce the energy now wind is moving it produces the energy the water of the dam or the waterfall it is moving it produces the energy tides the sea waves are moving those can produce the energy okay now next is geothermal geothermal energy i'll tell in detail afterwards then biomass energy and dirty energy there are two types actually i have not given you clean energy dirty energy and clean energy also is there okay 
but I have not mentioned here, but for your knowledge, I have discussed this point. Then first is dirty energy. It is the form of energy which is produced due to the burning of fossil fuels, coal, oil, etc. Now these images can say something. Okay, you can see the smoke by burning and this produces the pollution. This dirty energy, why it is called as a dirty energy? Because this causes high air pollution, maximum air pollution. That is why it is and pollution is never good. It is dirty only. That is why it is a dirty energy. It endangers biological lives and causes the climate changes as well. Climate changes means like global warming. It, it, it is the cause of the global warming. So it is called as named as a dirty energy, which is not good. Okay, they are doing some work, burning of coal. Why it is? It can it can cook the food, but in the same way it can it will it is producing the smoke also, and smoke is not good for the living world. That is why it is named as a dirty energy. Next is solar energy. Solar means sun, the energy from the sun. Solar power, power is the energy from the sun that is converted into the thermal. Thermal means what? Heat or electrical energy. Thermal or electrical energy. Now you might have heard there are solar cookers. Now what are the cookers? Normal cookers. cookers. You might have seen in your kitchens. Your mother is using for cooking rice or any curry or something. Right. So, the solar energy also can be used to uh, cook the food. Those are called as solar cookers. And it can produce the electrical energy also. It can glow the lights. Solar energy is the cleanest and most abundant. Now, it causes no pollution. Absolutely, there is no pollution when we make use of solar energy. And most abundant. Abundant means ample very much high in quantity that is called as abundant renewable energy source available never ending source because if the sun is not there then we can't think ourselves we are dependent that is the main source of energy so sun sun is the main source of energy whatever other energies are there that is due to the sun okay now here in the image i have shown the solar panels always the solar panels are black in color why it is black in color because the black color absorb absorbs the heat at the maximum extent that is why the solar panels are always black in color okay and this can be converted into thermal what is the meaning of thermal thermal means heat and electrical all of you know electrical recently we have finished with the unit test some of you couldn't give the uh, exam due to the power failure, electrical fa failure. So, all of you are know that the importance of electricity, right? Now, next, wind energy. What is the wind energy? The energy from the wind, right? Solar energy is energy from the sun. Same way, the wind energy is energy from the wind, okay? So, you can see in this image, you might have seen when you go for the traveling and all, you might have seen on the hilly areas where there is maximum breeze. And continuously these, uh, what you say, blades of the fan are rotating because of the wind energy. And when, just now I said, when something is in the motion, it can be, this is called as a turbine. This, this fan-like structure is called as a turbine. So, this turbine produces the electricity. Whatever electricity is produced, that is saved in the, uh, what you say, batteries. And that it can be utilized for running the machines also. Pumps also, water pumps also. So, it is changing its, itself into the electrical energy. Now, here, kinetic energy, the energy which gives the motion is called as a kinetic energy. Okay, this also will be learnt in science. So, wind energy is the form of sustainable energy it is. 
Wind energy or wind power describes the process by which the wind is used to generate electricity. Now, what are these called as fan-like structures? Those are called as turbines. Now, next is geothermal. Geo, geography. What do you, what do you learn in this? Geography is related with our earth. Same way, geo stands for the earth. Geothermal. Now, just now I have discussed the meaning of thermal. Thermal means heat. So, geo means earth and thermal means heat. That means geothermal is the heat of the earth. Okay, that is called as geothermal energy. Now, let me read. Uh, geothermal energy is the heat derived. Derived means produced within the subsurface of the earth earth now here in the image here given what is the subsurface now you can see as we move inside the earth towards the core the earth is hot inside okay because it is produced from the sun itself it is a part of a sun after long millions billions of years it cooled down and it formed the earth and there is life on the earth Okay, so geothermal energy is the heat derived within the subsurface of the earth, water and or steam. Some, sometimes there, there are the streams, hot water streams inside the earth. Okay, so steam carry the geothermal and that produces the, when the water is hot, you know that steam is formed. Okay, so whenever steam is there, there is energy in that. Okay, in olden days, the railways used to work on the steam. There were steam engines. Now, we see the railways run on electricity. But in olden days, there was no electricity. It, the engines were running on the steam and it can pull the bogies of the train. So, you can imagine how much strength the steam carries. So, it is there inside the earth and that can be utilized to produce the energy. Okay. So, the steam carry the geothermal energy to the earth surface. Depending on its characteristics, geothermal energy can be used for heating and cooling purpose or be harnesses to generate clean electricity. And now, this is also producing no pollution. Okay, clean. Now, biomass fuels. Biomass fuels means the fuel which is produced from the unwanted things of the or the waste of the plants. The biomass, bio means the living things, mass, fuels, generate the energy from the things that once lived, such as wood products. Okay, you can see in this image there are wood products. Or dried vegetation, okay, the plants die and they dry up, or the leaves also they get dried up. Then crop residues means after the harvesting, some part of the crop remain in the field. Those are called as crop residues. Okay, then aquatic plants. Aquatic means what? The plants which we which live in the water. Those are called as or which grow in water are called as aquatic plants. Aqua means water and even the garbage. Unwanted things which are thrown, those that is called as a garbage. And from this, whatever fuels we are getting, whatever energy we are getting, that is called as biomass fuels. When the plants leave, when plants leave, they use, now how can we get the uh, energy from the dead plants or plant wastage. Now, all of you know the process of photosynthesis. All of you have learned this that plants produce their food. In the second lesson itself, photosynthesis was discussed in science, right? So, what is the meaning of photosynthesis? The plant produces their own food by making use of the sunlight. So, when they are alive, they make their food of their own, the food of their own with the process of photosynthesis. So, when they are producing the food, when they are absorbing the sun's energy, so obviously even if they are dead, that energy is there in those dead 
bodies of the plants also and that causes to produce the biomass fuels understood okay so you can i have shown some images and this you cannot i think some of you could not make out these are the uh, coconut these are the coconuts okay this image if you see it very properly keenly you will find these are the coconuts okay let's move for the now hydro energy hydro as in, in the introduction itself i just told that hydro means water and the energy which is produced by making use of the running water is called as hydro energy also it is called as a hydel energy hydel power h y d e l hydel power okay hydro electric energy means what the water is used to generate electricity that is called as hydro electric energy also called hydro electric power or hydro electricity is the form of energy that harnesses the power of water in motion means see stagnant water cannot produce the energy there therefore where are the electricity generating plants near to the dam or waterfalls because the water is falling from certain height it is moving it has force and that force causes the wheel that turbine turbine is there that falls on the turbine and when the wheel moves the fans blades of the fan move start moving it start producing the energy electricity and that is saved into the batteries and it it is used utilized in the future these are called as power station besides this dam i have uh, um, state means i have inserted one picture of power uh, generation power generation plant okay so such as water flowing over the waterfall to generate the electricity so this is called as hydroelectric energy or hydrogen energy i hope you have understood this and many of you might have seen this when you go and visit some places no, you have to observe everything what is going around you should be curious what is this how it is done always you have to be very curious about this thing and chalo okay what uh, it it is like that don't leave it like that you should have the queries why and how it is done always ask these questions yourself and try to find out the answers next is tidal energy tidal means the tide waves of the sea are called as tide you might have heard the words high tide and low tide hmm? that is related with the waves of the sea now uh, you might uh, i don't know how many of you have visited the seashore okay see there are certain period of time the when the waves are very big in size okay very high and and a certain in the certain period you can find the waves are very small this is because of the high tide and low tide when the tide high high tide period is there that time the height of the waves is more and it has got more speed it moves with high speed and low tide means very small small waves are coming towards the seashore okay it has having it it has the very less power in it so but the water is moving so tidal power or tidal energy converts the energy obtained from the tides tides means waves of the sea into useful form of power means mainly electricity okay although not it widely used very less it is used many people are not aware of this or they are not taking interest in utilizing such type of power tidal energy has the potential for future electricity generation but see this is never ending source again do you think that any time the waves will stop no never it will never happen that tides there are no tides at all there are no waves to the sea at all it it is just calm like a river never so it is never ending source of energy wind wind also is the never ending source of energy means whatever i have discussed so far these are never ending sources of energy so tides are the most predictable than the wind and the sun 
sometimes see in uh, rainy season there is no sun so it is unpredictable we can't say that there will be uh, there, there will be heat of the sun will uh, will be received by us wind sometimes there is no wind we feel very hot okay so these are these are unpredictable predict unpredictable means we can't say no guarantee of that but waves never stop now what is the conclusion so we have to make you more and more use use of renewable energy resources to avoid the pollution we can make use of the renewable energy resource because these are sustainable sustainable means what amount is very big compared to the use and it is never ending that is why we have to make use of more and more renewable sources of energy now in the link i have given it will be giving you the animation related with the same topic please do watch this for your information okay thank you see you in the next week sarojini naidu was an indian political activist and a poet poet all of you know who writes a poem is called a poet and political activist means those who take part in the political activities so being lady she was taking part in political activities also and she fought for india's struggle also so she was an important figure in india's struggle of independence from colonial rule her work as a poet earned her the sobriquet nightingale of india by mahatma gandhi sobriquet means the title given why she was called as nightingale now what is the meaning of nightingale nightingale is a bird who sings very melodiously so why she might have given this uh, sobriquet because she used to sing in very melodious voice that is why she was titled as nightingale of india and who labeled her in that way who titled her in that way mahatma gandhi and another achievement of hers was she became the first woman to be the governor of india she was the first woman governor of india so few of the leaders we have covered through this lesson of general knowledge this is not an end we have many more leaders who had done great works for the country but there is limit for the lesson so i am ending this lesson here whatever is given in the pdf you need to copy it this is the third lecture for seventh standard hope you have completed all the pdf notes in your notebooks thank you children